Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms. And in today's video, you guys are getting a thrift haul. Yes, I went and did a bit of thrifting. I needed a few inspirational pieces for some upcoming videos and I have found several. So let's get started. On my way up north, I swung through the Anago Goodwill and I just found a few things. So I'm gonna show you those first. I was planning on doing a thrift haul for you when I was up north, but honestly, I didn't find that much and the service is so spotty, I didn't even know if I could get a video uploaded. But first and foremost, I found, this is Ironstone. It's a dollar 99 and so the marking is on the bottom. Uh, it is a pitcher or a little, well it's a tiny pitcher. It's probably like a creamer of some sort, but it's Ironstone. The second thing I found there was this. It was $2.99. It does say USA on the bottom. And you guys, I just love these little gravy boats. I can't ever pass them up. Next, I found this bean pot. It did have the lid, which is very hard to find around here. I always find bean pots without the lid. This was $5.99. I definitely have an idea for an upcycle for this one. I am really excited about. Uh, so I, I know that it is like the all natural color. I think we're gonna change the color a bit, possibly. Um, we'll see. It will be in an upcoming Thrift to Treasure video. It says Jersey Dairies. Dairies, yeah, Jersey Dairies out of Milwaukee. It was $2.99. I just thought it was a really neat old vintage bottle. Um, who knows really how old or vintage it is, but I thought it was very cool and I could do something real fun with it. So it was $2.99 and I grabbed that one. These little salt and pepper shakers with the silver on top. And last time I had these, uh, they sold right away. These were $2.99, so I got the set for $2.99. And I think the, this might be crystal. So they are so, so cute. Um, and I couldn't pass them up. I'm very into pottery, glass. Uh, this definitely caught my eye. It was actually being brought out on a cart. And it is, I believe it looks like birch trees with leaves, but it's a, it's a little pocket and it has a little spot where you can hang it. Uh, this was $3.99, but I just thought this was a really beautiful piece of artwork uh, and I can definitely sell it in one of my booths. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. I thought it was really cool. I got this basket. I paid $2.99 for it. It was in really, really good condition. I actually think it might be like a pampered chef basket, but I brought it in the house because it was in my daughter's car and I broke the bottom I knocked it so I, I am gonna try to fix it don't know if it's possible but I'm going to try um, I think I'm gonna keep it for myself though and use it for something um, I have a couple of these baskets I also sell these baskets in my booth and they go right away and so for $2.99 I'm like oh, what a good deal and then I broke it but that's okay I still think I can definitely use it. I just bumped it on my table. These chunky candlesticks. I don't know if they were truly intended to be candlesticks, but they kind they have a, like, I don't know if they're handmade or what. I did pay $3.99 each. Somebody did have candles on here. What I plan on doing is cleaning them up. I am going to paint them and make them all like distressed and old. I actually might be using milk paint on these because I think that would look really cool, chippy, crackly, all that goodness on these like heavy, thick candlesticks. The last thing that I ended up finding there was this wool blanket and it did have a little bit of damage to it, but these go so good in my booth um, for people just to toss like in their outdoor displays for fall and it was only $2.99. So 
I definitely couldn't pass that one up. The rest of these items I went thrifting this morning. So one of the videos that I'm prepping for and looking for items is my maker's box. And I'm always, uh, well, now that I know what papers I'm gonna be using, I am trying to envision like how I can use those papers and what I can pick. Uh, and so I really want it for one of the pieces, a piece of furniture. I couldn't find a piece of furniture, so I had to improvise and I'm going to show you what I found. I found these three and they were half price, so they were $2 each, so I got all three of them for six bucks. Uh, my vision is I am going to take one of the Royce's decoupage paper from the upcoming Maker's Box and I'm going to use these or I'm going to try. So uh, the one thing I have to remember is to make sure that all of them have the hangers on the right side. So I sometimes tend to um, paint things upside down and the hangers are the wrong way. But, um, so I'm going to show you how I would use these. Honestly, I would normally would never have even given these a second glance, but I saw all three and they were all the same size. And I'm like, that would look so cool at, on a wall with what I want to do to it. So, uh, first thing I found today. All right. I saw this and I knew right away. So, uh, yes, it does say Easter egg hunt. It will not say Easter egg hunt in future in a future video. This was $5.99. It's really like heavy duty. Looks like it was regular $23. So I ended up getting it for $5.99 and I think this is going to be a great upcycle. You guys know how much I love chunky candlesticks. Oh my, look at all that beautiful detail. They are both the same height and I just need to, I think I'm going to wash them up. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I paint them? Should I leave them? You tell me in the comments. Uh, I love, I actually really like how they look too, um, but I'm really loving all this chunky goodness. I ended up finding this for $3.99 and somebody already had done some type of decoupaging on here. So I'm going to try to get some of this off this paper, bring it right down to just the paint, maybe sand it up a bit. Um, and then I am going to completely transform this. I think this is going to look so cool. Uh, when, if you've been following me for a bit, you'll know from one of my very first videos, uh, when I was learning how to decoupage, I did um, an, an actual uh, globe and it turned out so cool and I thought this is a great time to try this again. Uh, for $3.99, let's, let's take a stab at it and see what we can do. I love this basket. I want to keep it for myself, but honestly you guys, first and foremost, I don't know if I have a wall big enough to house this. It was $5.99. And at Antique Acres, um, one of, it was either, it was one of the other vendors had a basket very similar to this. So when I saw it, I was like, I am snagging this up. They sold it for quite a bit of money. Um, it is so cool. And I'm thinking it might be actually like old and vintage. So, um, I don't know. I am going to do a little bit more research before I price it. Uh, if you guys know anything about this, let me know in the comments. Um, but the back definitely looks old and worn. Um, the front looks like it, it it's taken care of a bit, but there's no signature on it at all. I just thought it was very cool and it was identical to that other basket at Antique Acres, so I couldn't pass it up. I found this little basket or wood crate, I should say. It has stars on it. It has these cute little handles. It was $5.99. Um, I am definitely going to do something fun with it though uh, in an upcoming Thrift to Treasure video. I found two of these and they were $5.99 each. I am going to be doing something completely different with them. So currently I believe what these were used for, they have hangers on them. I'm going to take the hangers off and I'm going to use them as crates. 
but I believe that somebody used them for wine bottle holders. So um, this one says wine served at five. So that's what I'm assuming somebody had these for, but they're definitely gonna get painted and shabbied and making look all old and distressed. It looks like they actually like burned the wood a bit and made it look this way. So I'm just gonna enhance um, the old distressed look and do something completely different. Here is the second one. Again, uh, more wines, laugh often, love much. Um, and I'm taking this piece of wood right off. I believe they just used a brad nailer and brad nailed it on. So. Um, for $5.99 though, having little crates like this that are heavy duty, they're perfect. I love pottery, you guys. I love handmade pottery that has signatures on the bottom, um, coffee mugs, and this one fit my hand so well. Uh, it was only $3.99. I am definitely going to get this in my booth uh, for somebody to purchase. I just think somebody is going to love it. Um, do I need another coffee mug? No. Um, I'm actually trying to give up coffee right now. So, um, but I love it. I like the turquoise. I love the green, um, everything about it. I actually had been on the lookout for these, um, a while ago. I was doing a project and I had some, I must have used them on an upcycle. So when I saw these, I grabbed them right away. There were five and they were 99 cents each. They were regular $2. So when I, I don't know where this was, it says Wisconsin Craft Market. When I actually bought these, they were actually, I think like $3.99 each. So um, not really sure where this Wisconsin Craft Market is, but Anyway, I still ended up getting a really good deal. I love picnic baskets, and this one actually has bird houses on the top. Um, it's cute, but I think what I'm going to do is something different to the top. Sorry guys, for all of you that love it the way it is, I ended up getting it at half price. So it was a pink ticket today. I ended up getting it for five bucks. Um, otherwise, oh boy, it's, it's gonna rain. I'm trying to get this done. So this is five bucks. Regular 35, um, it's got like a lot of really fun chippy goodness on here. Uh, it was $5.99. I do want to do something to the bottom of this. I don't like how it's, I like some of it. I think it's too, it looks almost scratched. So I love having like big trays or serving platters like this and putting them in my booth. So that is definitely what I'm going to do with this one. This was $3.99. And again, I'm looking for different project pieces. I'm like trying to envision how I can repurpose this or add a little bit more decor to it. And I think it was like the clip, um, the price. I like the distressing on it. I liked everything about this. So for $3.99, I am trying to envision how I can um, create this into a beautiful piece of artwork. This was $2.99. I'm not sure if this was you know, put together by the same person that put those other two crates together, um, but it was done very well. Um, very, very good craftsmanship. Um, so I'm very impressed with whoever um, created these. I really don't know what this true intention was. There's a like a hanger here, um, only one board across, so not two. Um, it was only $2.99 and I thought either I could do something with this or change this up a bit. So it's actually put together with pieces on the back that are put, you know, holding this all together. So I really don't even need this. I found these two plates. There were actually three. I was so sad because the one that was the coolest was a huge chip out of. They are only $1.99. They have these like circles on the back with a holder. They're called disc adhesive plate hangers made in England. I think they're really cool. Um, I'm going to just sell them as is. I just think that they're really fun. And I have some fabric that will go with this and I can create like a little vignette with that. So I was really excited to find them. These 
are brand new coasters. They were only $2.99. Looks like they were nine, but I thought they were very fun looking and I'm always looking at adding just things like this to my booth um, to just complete a vignette. This is just a chunk of wood. It was $1.99. I love that little and sign. I have the and sign sitting all over my house. Uh, so this is actually going to be for me and I'm gonna put it in one of my, you know, one of my vignettes in my home. So um, I just think it's really cool. I'm not really even sure. I think they might have actually glued the and on because it's not nailed or anything like that. The last thing I did get you guys was this picnic basket. It was $7.99. It's in like really great condition. Um, not sure if I'm going to put it into my booth as is or do something to the entire basket. So in the comments, you guys, you tell me, what do you think I should do? Should I upcycle this or should I put it in as is? So um, like I said, it's in really, really good condition. Um, I'm thinking maybe the top, but I'm not 100% sure. That was my thrift haul for today. Uh, I was trying to get it all taped. I love taping it out of the back end of my truck. I have been doing this since the beginning of when I created my YouTube channel. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is that currently my podcast is on my channel and I am changing that up. I am actually have made the decision that I am gonna create a separate channel for my podcast. So it will be under Rescued and Upcycled. I will have it in the description. I have like searched for it and I don't know why I'm not able to find it just by typing it in, maybe because it's so new. So I will have it in the description below. If you guys wanna give it some love, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. If you guys are liking my um, podcast every Thursday, it will now be on its own channel. So I'm hoping to get it started this week, Thursday. I am uploading all the podcasts over there as well. So just right from the beginning and then over on this side or this channel, um, there will uh, be obviously, I will also link it in the um, each and every current podcast. I will still have the playlist there. So you can still find it directly from Sonnet's, Gardens, Sonnet's Garden Blooms, but you can also find it directly over there. So I just wanted to give you a heads up about that. Uh, the Maker's Box, I'm already prepping and preparing for uh, next month, you guys. Everyone should be receiving their Maker's Box, so I'm super excited to hear what you guys think about that. Uh, and then my live unboxing will be not this Friday, but the following Friday. So I am gonna create an event for that. And so join me um, and see the uh, live unboxing of it. So even if you're a subscriber, definitely join in. And if you're not, definitely see you know what the hype is all about and why these women are loving the Maker's Box. I am going to be doing one more launch this year and then I'm going to close it down. So uh, the rest of the year, I mean, with, you know, November, December, like the fall and holiday season coming up, it gets really busy. So what I'm going to do, I've hit my max right now. So July and August are full. Um, September, we are relaunching and I am opening up a select number of spots. And then at that time, um, whatever we hit, we are gonna close it down until February of 2025. So um, I just wanna give you guys a heads up now. So if you're interested, get on that wait list so you don't miss a spot for um, any of the future boxes. All right, guys, well, you have yourselves a great week. Um, I am gonna be headed to Haven, um, the Haven Conference on Thursday. And um, I'm sure many of you heard that um, the IOD releases are coming this week as well. So that's exciting. Um, so anyways, we will see you guys on Friday's video because I it is the IOD release. So um, I have a special video for you guys on Friday and then we'll be back Monday. All right, have a great week, bye.